वेलकम बैक प्रॉब्लम सिक्स डैश फाइव जीरो सो स्टेटमेंट इज अ मेंबर हैज अ ट्राइंगुलर क्रॉस सेक्शन शोन डिटरमाइन द लार्जेस्ट इंटरनल मूवमेंट एम कैन बी अप्लाइड टू द क्रॉस सेक्शन विदाउट एक्सीडिंग एलावेबल टेंसाइल एंड कंप्रेसिव स्ट्रेस ऑफ ट्वेंटी टू के एस आई एंड फिफ्टीन के एस आई सो दिस इज अ ट्राइंगुलर क्रॉस सेक्शन वेयर अ मूवमेंट एम इज अप्लाइड द एलावेबल टेंसाइल स्ट्रेस एंड कंप्रेसिव स्ट्रेस इज गिवन सो यू हैव टू फाइंड दिस मूवमेंट एम दैट कैन बी अप्लाइड on this cross section or on this beam this side is 4 inch this side is 4 inch so this side is also 4 inch so this is a triangular cross section so let's start with the solution so we know that uh, in general maximum bending stress is equal to moment into c divided by i so we will first find this i and for section property for section property i property i we will also need the location of neutral axis from the base so you can see this is a triangular so if i find this height which is let's say this is h this is 2 inch and this is uh, 4 inch clear so by using pythagoras theorem we know that uh, Four square, which is hypotenuse, is equal to base square, which is two plus height square. Clear. So from there, height square is equal to four square minus two square, and this h will be equal to sixteen minus four under the root, and h will be equal to under root twelve, which is equal to three point four six inch. so we have this height h so what will be the y dash y dash is the location of neutral axis from the base so from this this is the base clear so this is the base so and let this is the neutral axis so its location from the base is represented as y dash and y dash for this triangular will be equal to 1 over 3 times height so 1 over 3 and height is 3.46 so it means that it is 1.1547 inch away from this base so this is 1.1547 inch clear now we will find i about neutral axis so i about neutral axis for this triangular cross section for this triangular cross section about this neutral axis that is given by formula 1 over 36 its base which is 4 and its height which is uh, 3.46 cube so you will get this i about neutral axis comes out to be 4.6188 inch power 4 now we have been given the allowable tensile stress and compressive stress so we will find the moment from both uh, these stresses so i will first write for allowable bending stress due to tension we will get moment so we we know that allowable bending stress due tension is equal to m into c divided by i so we will get this moment moment will be equal to allowable bending stress due to tension into i divided by c clear again due to this load this due to this moment it will be uh, there will be a compression on the top surface and there will be a tension in below surface clear c is for compression and t is for tension so we are going to find the moment due to tension so allowable bending stress due to tension is 22 ksi so i will write um, 22 multiply by i is 4.6188 divided by c and c is distance from neutral axis till bottom which is 1.1547 this will give you moment and when you calculate this moment this moment comes out to be 
88 kips into inch or if you convert it into feet so it divide 88 divided by 12 will give you 7.33 kips into feet so this is in feet and this is in inch so these are movement movements due to allowable bending stress due to tension now we will move toward uh, for allowable bending stress due to compression we will calculate movement and that movement will be equal to allowable bending stress due to compression into i divided by c so allowable bending stress due to compression is given as 15 ksi so i will write 15 i is again same 4.6188 now what is c the upper portion is in this portion is in tension so c is distant from neutral axis till the top most so this is c and this c is equal to h minus 1.547 so 1 h is it is 3.46 minus 1.1547 so when you calculate it you will get movement due to bending stress due to compression comes out to be 30 kips into inch or in feet 30 divided by 12 will give you 2.5 five zero kips into feet so these are the bending movement due to movement due to allowable bending stress for compression clear now we have one movement for this and other movement is for compression this so we will select the smallest one so which one is smallest one so you can see this is the smallest one so we will choose movement is equal to movement is equal to 30 kips into inch is equal to 2.50 kips into feet that will be that will justify what is given in the question and that was all about problem 6.50 i hope you have enjoyed this video and you have learned from it those who are new to my channel then subscribe it and hit the bell icon so that you can get notification about latest video if you have any question you can ask me in comment section thank you for watching